forces are under attack. Should you become a nuisance, I'll kill you myself. Hey there, StarCraft fans, it's Falco Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remaster. Today it's going to be an RGB replay featuring a rare 2023 replay featuring Larva. It's an incredible game as well. Here on Retro, top left, it's going to be Larva, our Blue Zerg player. And in the bottom right, going to be a Red Protoss player. I think he's new to the channel. It is Stone, going under a noob name. It's a Smurf name, according to RJB. We're going to call him Stone, okay? So I feel like, I don't know, I never cast a game with this player before, but if Tengu is any indication of the up-and-coming StarCraft talent, then I feel like Stone's going to give Larva a hard time here, man. So it is Retro Probe. Throwing down a pylon. What's after that? We will see what we scout. Wait a second. We're not scouting with this probe? Uh, okay. Fair enough, man. I'm not telling you what to do to, like, live your life, but this is a barcode Zerg uh, who might be a million times better than you. So maybe maybe he's like, it doesn't matter what I scout. I'm doing what I'm doing. Right? Oh, my gosh. This is incredible. So, yeah, I think he's just going to go safe, right? We're just going to go forge... Nope! We're gate opening! Dude, what if this is a pool? What if this is a pool? It's, it's an over pool. It's not a pool first, but it's an over pool. Oh, can you hold over pool opening with a gate first? If you wall well enough, you certainly can. Lings abhor a wall. You know how nature abhors a vacuum? That's your vocabulary word of the day. Abhor. To hate. To hate with every fiber of your being. Anyway, then probe scouting and cross spawn scouting too. No, we headed over here, saw there was no overlord, then went here next. Oh, look at the hiding here. God, that's so sick. Hiding that drone is so cool. Oh, and then he comes back and tries to go for the block. No, larva has larvaed you, friend. And then the probe comes in and says, okay, so it's not like crazy fast pool, but it's definitely a pool first. So Zealot needs to stay home. Zealot is needed at home. Because there's no way Zealot pressure is getting anything done. Yeah, this is you sticking home. Who needs gas? I would honestly maybe get a Ford. Oh, he's going to expand. He's just going to one gate expand here, which... Okay. I mean, he saw there was no gas. So he knows this is more of a defensive nine pool than an aggressive nine pool. Or sorry, over pool. Apologies. Over pool. Yeah, that's good. Zealot moving out. He's like, we got a zealot back home. These are slowlings. They're garbage. Plus, there aren't that many of them. Uh, okay. Two sets of lings just, or a set of lings just popped out. Another set of lings, however, is on the way. But then he's third basing it too. So, whatever. This is a great scout by Stone, by the way. Getting up here and being like, yo. Is there a thing? And then there was a thing. Totally sees the thing. Ah, I tried to save his probe, but he couldn't do it. Zergling sniped him down. Slow Ling getting a probe kill. Not something that happens every day. At this level, anyway. So Zealots walling with their bodies as best they can. This guy's not even looking outwards. He's too afraid of what's coming in. All right. Ling's moving out. Finally taking a gas after your third base is like 50% complete here. So what is this slow Ling pressure? I guess he knows there's no cannons, nor is there, yeah, nor is there a cybernetics core, nor any dragoons, so you can kind of just, like, mess with this, right? This is not an attempt to win, I don't think. This is just Larva being like, what if I messed with you? What if I took some of the shields off your gate? How would you feel about that? Maybe I can get a run by. Ah, probes are here to body block as the zealots are out here trying to save this thing. Ah, chaos! Overlord's like just overseeing all of the chaos here. This is great. Zealots, enough zealots to hang. Saving his gateway, which is really important right now. Does he have a cyber core? Okay, he's starting the cyber core, so it's not that important. Oh my gosh. These lings, 197 hit points on this this guy, this gateway right here. If these were adrenal lings, this would be over. But that's why you don't start with adrenal. Although, you know when lings do start with adrenal? And the hero seven versus one. 
UMS map game that we play on Sundays during the Sunday stream. Okay, this zealot is zero kill zealot. He's going to be annoying forever. Sitting behind the mineral line. Yes, yes, fine. We get it. You can be annoying. Great job, man. But yeah, Hero 7v1 is where one player in a fastest map starts off with uh, hero units. Every unit they make is a hero unit. So the lings they make are devouring ones, which means they have speed and adrenal and do tons of damage and have extra armor. Marines start off with Jim Raynor, who has stim, way more HP, extra armor and extra damage, right? So then everybody else tries to kill the one person. Meanwhile, this is happening. Zealots doing their absolute best to be as harassment as possible. Stone's doing some work here, guys. I'm not going to say he's not. Don't let him get back there. Nice surround. Okay, that was actually really well done by Larva. It's Larva we're talking to, though, right? That's all that matters. Spire finally coming in. The timings are all messed up here. Cor Corsair on the way from Stone. They're not too bad, though. Looks like the timings are about right. There should be some Scourge out to deal with the first Corsair, and it's going to be a plus one arrow weapons upgrade here out of Stone. Citadel of Adun is on the way, but yeah, hang out with us on those Sunday streams. They start at like 10 a.m. Eastern, but they run for like seven to eight hours. So, I mean, if you just want to stop by for a little bit of it and say hello, that's cool. I think a lot of people do that. See what's going on. And then the VODs show up after, too, and I bookmark them. So, if you're like, what is this Hero 7v1 stuff Falcon's talking about? I'd like to see it. Go check out the most recent Sunday stream VOD. It's just on my videos channel, I think. Is there a separate tab for live streams? Either way, check it out, and then look for the bookmark along the bottom here for Hero 7v1. It's going to be over on the right side a little bit, because replays are up here, then live games are over here. Anywho, check it out, man. Sunday stream, good stuff. So, Skirt's popping in. Uh, in time to save this overlord? Uh, Stone sure thinks so. He's just heading out. He's like, you know what? There should be Scourge popping soon, and there are. I think maybe he had time to get a few more hits off. Yeah, look at that, man. Plus one air weapons. Looking hot. Hot, hot, hot. How will this be dealt with by Larva? I'm going to guess Hydras. Yeah, he's getting upgrades for Hydras. Doesn't seem to be any Mutalisks in production at all. So that read was pretty simple. Yeah, yeah. Zealot's moving out, because all Larva wants to do at this part of the game, honestly, is just drone. And so if you can prevent him from just droning... But you can't just drone if there's Zealots hacking away at your third base, right? Right, I love the Scourge following these dudes. The Scourge are like, come on, pop out a Corsair so we can kill it. Ling's top of the ramp. Ling Hydra top of the ramp. Get the Hydras down here. Yeah. Zealots don't want to do this. Zealots want nothing to do with Ling Hydra at the top of the ramp. Nothing. Nothing at all. Storm is on the way. Grooved Spines coming in. Missile Attack, Storm, plus whatever weapons. Finishing up here. High Templar added to the mix here, too. And at some point, we're going to get some Storm. If I had to guess. Uh, there we go. Storm for these Hydras. Storm for the everything, right? Come on. Obviously. I kind of want Stone to take a third base at some point here. Third base timing would be pretty hot. Zealot Corsair action. Zealot's keeping the Hydras off the Corsairs. Overlord down. Overlord down. The splash damage causing problems. No, the Scourge. No, oh, I've had a couple of the Corsairs, but there are still four. Overlords are dying. Zealot's keeping... Wow, what a supply block. Keeping the Hydras off the Corsairs as long as Protossly possible there. And at 29 supply to 48 used by Larva. What a sick Zealot Corsair play. I like that a lot. Do more of this stone. Keep it going, man. We believe in you. You can win this game. We don't know who you are, but we didn't know who Tengu was like a month ago either. So, rip. All right.
Alrighty then, what's the play here? Robotics facility. Every Protoss player is like, please get Reavers. Please, for all that is holy, a Singularity charge is getting fired up. This two base this long is concerning me though. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. Robotics facility finishes up. This probe is gonna make a robotic support bay right here. You ready? You ready for it? Come on. Come on. Ah, it's an observatory. But hey, robotic support bay next. Right? Right. Alright. Overlord's dying again. Another supply block on Larva. Zealots with speed with plus one hacking. These Hydras to death off of two bases. There are no sunkins at all. Imagine how many Hydra lives would be saved if there were some gosh darn sunkins anywhere on this map. Larva is one of those players who doesn't like them very much. Oh my gosh, further supply blocking. Are there any sunkins here? No, just macro hatches. Macro hatch is all we need to deal with, Zealots. And I mean, yes, you're alive. You're supply, you were supply blocked. You're now at 109 to 57 supply. The Protoss player is way up, but also only on two bases. Also moving out. Okay, there we go. Expand while attacking? No, you can't expand. Imagine if Zealots could warp in buildings. Would that change anything? I don't think that would change anything if that could happen, right? Anyway, oh look who's going 12 Mutalisks. All right, did we kill all the Corsairs? No, there's still three Corsairs out. Four Corsairs out with plus one attack. Dude, this is not the time to spend all your gas on Mutalisks, but okay. Dude, Storm's done. Dragoons are here with range and they've got plus one armor and plus one attack. This is not good for Larva. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. All right, Muta's here to pick off High Templar, right? One, two, ooh, three. He gets all the High Templar. All right, all right. I always forget that's an option for some reason. Why are you making Muta? Well, to kill the High Templar, Falcon. To completely negate this entire attack. And that's exactly what happened. Without the High Templar, this attack was not going to succeed. And Stone has to fall back. Stone taking a third base. He'd hoped he was successfully attacking right now. But instead, he needs to fall back and defend his attempt at getting a third base as a fourth base comes up on the left side from Larva. No real sign of a hive from our Zerg player, but that's okay. No real sign of a hive, and that's okay. My little jingle. Oh, Zerg coming down. All right, Muto's harassing this third base a little bit. Hi oh yeah, completely shutting it down. Okay, so Stone doesn't get a third base. A fourth base is coming up unmolested. Oh, another High Templar snipe. Larva, Muta stacking is so good. There are definitely some Corsair, a little few more Corsair hits than maybe Larva wanted. Lurker Aspect coming in. Hydra's maybe trying to hide. I mean, just hold the high ground. Right? Dude, Stone doesn't have a third base at 1340. I keep thinking this is a base coming up, but it's not. It's just an overlord scouting, I guess. He's not going into more mutalisks, is he? Like, this is it, right? This is all we're doing for mutalisks. We're saving the gas for lurkers and, like, defilers and stuff. Is that a queen's nest? No. Larva. Maybe Larva feels like I've got this, whoever this noob guy is on two bases at 14 minutes. All I got to do is contain him on two bases and I'll never need, okay, he throws up a queen's nest. I'll never need a hive. Just kidding. Maybe he does actually need a hive. Are we not engaging with this at all? Another high Templar down. Dude, I think more high Templar have died today than storms have gone off, which is rare. Oh, but sniping all the Corsairs was huge. Maybe you go back into Muta now. I mean, you don't have a lot of gas for that. You just made 13 lurkers. You had a chance to go back into Mutalisks, but you lurked instead. Which, mm, I don't know. Are Mutas or lurkers any good against Dragoons, really? The answer is no, no, not really. Ooh, third base at 1440. It'll be done at 15 minutes. Dude, third base at 15 minutes for stone is absolutely horrific. It is bad news bears. Every Protoss player is like, oh no. 
Oh no. I mean, anyone who clicked on this was like, I don't know who the stone player is. But he's playing against Larva. He's probably going to lose. And I'm sure a bunch of people just didn't even click on this thing, which is like, that's too bad. Because I don't post bad games. I never post one sided Raffle Stomps, okay? So if you're ever like, uh, I don't feel like this is a very fair matchup, just know this particular game maybe is closer than you think it is. Yeah? Yeah. How about that? Yeah, hey look, it's the window where Dragoons are really good. There's no Dark Swarm out. They've got 2-1 upgrades in range. They're good at picking off Sunkins from distance. They're good at picking off Lurkers from distance. They've got a lot of dudes bouncing around back here. Not that you really want to stutter step into this area, because that kind of seems like a bad idea. It's like a static defense stutter step here. That's what it is. Man, killing this base would have been so much easier. I don't think he knows it exists is the problem. Now there's lurkers at the top of the ramp. Check it. Check this base. Check the base, Stone. Stone? Check the base, man. He's going to do it. He's going to check the base. There is a lurker at the top of this ramp, and that's not enough. So why are you attacking the egg? Kill the stupid lurker. Ah, Lings come in. Hive's not done yet. Send some dudes to kill this, or everyone can respond to this little thing instead. Hi Templar, A moving. I'm getting target fired as a result. Dude, this base can die. This base can die, Stone. Stone, this base can die. I know it can die. Stone is not aggressive enough. Not aggressive enough at all. I love the one hider that comes down to this fourth base attempt by Stone at the old third base. That was worth... Okay, now there's Lurkers and Sunkins at the top of the ramp. Your window has closed stone. Bad feelings for you. Adrenal's on the way. The Defiler Mound is not done yet? Question mark? Defiler Mound does not exist. It just got fired up. That's probably not a Defiler Mound. That is, though... Okay, so the... Oh, fourth phase doesn't happen. Trying to go for this 12 o'clock third. Or fourth or whatever this fourth no this is the third i'm an idiot third base even without dark swarm this is a tough tough ask for stone isn't it yes it is 167 to 126 supply still the two one upgrades here for our protoss player trying to clear out this position Ah, I think the Storm might have finished off those Zealots more than anything else. The Hiders are at 2-1. The Lings are at 1-0. Drenal is done for them, though. So that's very nice. Final round done. Consume not getting started. Larva a little bit casual in his upgrade timings in this game. But seriously, your Defiler round is done. Aw, oh, Lings picking off High Templar. Getting one. See, it's fun because I can say picking off High Templar, and that can either be one High Templar or a couple High Templar. Because I think multiple High Templar is just High Templar. Although it could also be High Templars. That doesn't sound right though, right? Picked off three High Templar there, as opposed to three High Templars. Picked off three High Templars there. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. It's High Templar. Hey, look, Consume's finally on the way, like a minute after the Defiler Mound finished up here. So, Larva. Doing what Larva does. Which is lose a bunch of Adrenal Links for almost nothing. Reavers, though? Kader and Amulet coming in a little bit late, considering how much High Templar production has been happening here. Dude, these probes need to go somewhere. Might as well start long distance mining from over on this base. And yes, keep the pressure on the Zerg. And you'll be a happier camper. You're basically maxed out here at 20 minutes anyway. But guess what? Consume's almost done. And... The Deviler's like, come on, come on, come on, come on. It finished. Cons immediately consumes. And Dark Swarms and calls it a day. You're not breaking this, man. I'm sorry. Not with a largely Dragoon force. Miyama. Miyamo. Miyamo means my name is in Spanish. Amigo. 
Na mana. A mí. Okay, Plague's getting researched. Nidus is coming in as well. So, I don't know, like the comp. It's, you're stuck on too many Dragoons here against someone that has Plague and Dark Swarm now. You want more Archons. You want more Reavers at this stage of the game. If you're not comfortable with Reavers, this is going to be a lot harder for you. Top right base is popped from Larva. And that's a fifth base for him. I would kind of like to say this is map control, but it's not. Like, Zerg's pretty much getting everywhere he wants to go, expanding wherever he wants to go. The definition of map control is not when your opponent's expanding and doing whatever they want, right? I don't know about this. Coming in here feels like you're going to get trapped. Like, you're, you're going to get your whole army in here. You're not going to be able to bust up here because there are lurkers on the high ground, and then Larva swoops in the back way and crushes you. Or, Larva could not move his army at all. Okay, but really... Wow, alright. We're just gonna give him some time to get plagued. Maybe he's like, I don't even need my army. I like how we a move the Defiler down here and then killed it. <laughs> that was unnecessary. Dude, he's plaguing the ever-loving heck out of this group of Dragoons. Look at these guys. Look how plagued they are. This is not good. This is bad. Ugh. It's not that it's dead supply, but by golly. It is very bruised and bleeding supply. Now is he coming over? Where is he going with his stuff? He's just like, if Stone wants to park himself over here... He can do that. Hey, look, Reavers are in production. Archons are here, too. Yeah. Another sick plague. Man, Larva is connecting big time with plagues in this game. The plague ooh, is strong with this man. This is a weird thing. It feels like... Stone's army's been stuck over here for like five minutes. It hasn't been killed. It hasn't killed either. Oh, this Archon is protected by Dark Swarm from these Hydralists, hilariously. High Templar gets sniped. Storm kills the rest of the Hydras. I think we can maybe get up here and kill this base, although there's an Itis. So that's not good. It's just the parking here is amazing. 2-2 two -two upgrades against 3-2 upgrades for the Zerg. The Lings are at Adrenal with 1-2, working on a plus-2 attack here. It's just like the very slowest, take-you-apart kind of thing here that Larva is doing. He's not fully committing to it. Stone isn't fully committing to anything either. Maybe denying this base was the plan, but that's not going super well. These Dragoons should be able to hit that thing another plague, and... I love these Dragoons back here so much. Five kills and two kills. Veterans of the Zerg Wars, these men are. Formerly Zealots. They should get the kill counts for when they were Zealots, too. If Archons get the kill counts from the two High Templar that created them, then Dragoons should get the kill counts of Zealots that created them. Or sort of created them. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, Larva's down 20 supply, and I feel totally fine about him. Like, he's, he's expanding here. He's shutting down this group of zealots who came down this way for reasons. I guess they think they were denying a base, but not as much as they wanted to, that's for sure. Ugh, zealots getting melted. Stone coming up the right side again. Into Dark Swarm. This time, Reavers have joined the party. Now you're all in big, big trouble. Reavers always turn the tide of any PvZ, man. You guys know. My fans who are watching this, my commenters always know when Reavers come in, Protoss' chance of winning improves by about 30%. Okay, so this base gets cancelled. That's a good thing for Stone. He's still up about 20 supply. Getting up this ramp is still not great. Not a good time, I would say. But maybe Reaver sh Ooh, dropping the Reaver on top over here and going pow, pow, pow. We're just face mashing our way through that. We're kind of face mashing our way through this. Getting up the ramp. Another Dark Swarm comes up. Workers are here. 
This is a little bit nuts out of stone, guys. But see, the Nidus. We talked about the Nidus. It's still here. Ah, did the Reaver die? The Reaver died. So the shuttle tried getting up here, but overextended just a little bit. And Stone has to go now because the Reaver is dead. He's making shuttle speed at 25 minutes. Probably should have had that a little bit sooner. How many Robos does the man have? One. Yeah, two Robos would be better here. Double pumping those Reavers is way better than single pumping them Reavers. Another plague on the ramp. Always good. Oh, is this Archon? No, does not keep Zealot from getting up in here. This is more of a... That was a scouting zealot? I don't know. This is a weird... Like, ever, all the fighting has been over here for the last 10 minutes of the game. I don't know why. Another incredible plague. The Defiler eats it there, though. These Scourge, I think, are here to wipe out Obs, which is revealed and sniped by those Hydra. Sick moves. The sickest of moves. And then the shuttle dies. Oh, we were here to kill those two. Absolutely, yes. I like that Larva's keeping an eye on these bases along the left side, also expanding here himself, because if the Protoss isn't going to take it, then I suppose that I will. Yeah, uh, no High Templar or Reavers at this base for stone, which means it's dead. We Dark Swarm here, pop. Well, hang on, some Zealots are showing up. That's a little bit better, sure. Uh, is he like, just tech switching into Mass Zealot? He's bringing eight Zealots at a time, guys. We've got zealots here, zealots here, zealots here. No obs. We're just walking through lurker. Oh, then he walks back through lurkers. Oh, hey, he canceled another base. So that's two bases canceled by stone. That's pretty good. Oh, every time I look at it, yeah, stone's about ten to twenty supply ahead. But he's really not threatening any of these bases of Larva at all. And how do you kill an elite Zerg player? You kill their bases, is how. I love the one Mutalisk. What is this guy supposed to do? There are no Plague Science vessels for you to snipe. I love that he's chasing down the High Templar, though. That's hilarious. Look at this one Muta. Oh, Ob sniped. But no Lurkers here to take advantage of that fact. Oh, Lurkers get behind the Mineral Line and Stone. GG's out. Larva getting the win in 27 minutes and 32 seconds. What a weird game. What an absolutely weird game that is. Yeah. So, end of the day. Larva does win, but man, Stone took him to 27 minutes. So, I mean, that's not bad. It's just, it's tough. It's tough when none of the hatcheries took any damage at all today, right? All of these main bases were just pristine from start to finish. No drops, no damage, nothing came close to dying. And that's just tough. It's really tough if you have a game where nothing, no hatcheries of your enemy even come close to dying. So, that's brutal. And at the end of the day, I mean, that is a just a victory and a half for Larva. Got all the tools, didn't get stuck on Hydro Lurker forever. Reavers were added, but I think Stone needs to improve on his ability to use Reavers. And once he's got that figured out, I kind of like him. I kind of like his play. Maybe some more Reavers, better Reaver play. Two Reavers here is better than one Reaver kind of in all the mix over here, right? I think that would have been um, made a big difference as well. His upgrades were all right, but yeah, just the Dark Swarm, the play came out. It's harder to defeat Larva no matter who you are when that happens. So if you're stone and not like snow or something, it's a lot harder. 224,000 points to 209,000 points here. Uh, Zerg out, produced the Protoss 2 to 1, got out, killed 2 to 1. And total outspending here, about 9,000 resources outspending 27 minutes. So. Yeah, it, this is another game where the DG was about the future, right? Stone, his fourth base was getting ravaged by a couple lurkers. There was no way for him to expand or kill any of Lara's bases. And he knew if this just continues, I'm not going to be able to win. I'm going to be whittled down piece by piece by piece by piece. I don't have the income to compete in the future. I've done well to this point. But uh, at the end of the day, this is not looking good for me as this game goes on. So, GG.
All right, that was great. That was a ton of fun. And guess what else? That's going to be it from me. So this is Ben Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Go ahead, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe. If you like what you saw and what you heard today, you can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.